and welcome to another rambling review from Adventures in TV Land. For this rambling review, we're going to take a look at Scream 6. Now, I did not initially want to go see Scream 6 because I hated Scream 5. I thought Scream 5 was basically a watered-down, poor version of Scream 4, and it did so many things to the franchise. Irrevocable things in some ways. I mean, they killed off Dewey for crying out loud. There was no real reason for it. They just did it to do it and I hated Screen 5. I also thought some of the acting in Screen 5 was pretty bad. Not that the acting of the Screen movies is always good anyway, but uh, there are times it's better than other times. Anyway, I saw Scream 6 and I have to say I was pleasantly surprised. It was much better than I anticipated. It does things a little bit differently, although the same. It brings back some other characters that were in some other previous films. The movie is set one year after Scream 5 ended. Tara and her sister Sam Carpenter. They are living in New York City. Tara is going to college there. Samantha is working two or three jobs, trying to make ends meet. They also live there with Mindy and Chad. They're friends and the brother and sister from the previous film, attending school there in New York City. They've moved away from Woodsboro. For the most part, they've tried to go away from that. But then on the occurring, you know, just a few like days before the anniversary of the previous killings, the previous movie, some other ghost face killings start happening happening in New York City. Now, you see one of these at the very beginning of the movie. It kind of sets things off for the rest of the film. That opening scene, the opening segment, is done a little bit differently from other the other movies. It does get you thinking, like, okay, exactly what is going on? Now, I will say this. I figured out part of who the killer or killers were or very, very early on in the movie. Anyway, these killings, they start to ramp up and people connect to the Sam. Sam, she's actually, initially she was seen as being a hero from the Woodsboro things, but then the public opinion turns against her and people think she was responsible, actually, and she was the actual real killer in Woodsboro the, the previous year. So that's kind of the general synopsis. Things start to speed up because there is a countdown. These killings start happening and each one of the killings, a mask from a previous ghost face is left and so basically starts from scream five goes down you know right until the original ghost face mask there's all these little yeah i guess easter eggs that are hidden out throughout this museum museum i guess it's not, it's not really a museum but kind of is of it has all these different artifacts from the, the scream killings the scream movies the stab movies another character who appears in here is kirby she was in scream 4 very well liked she's now an fbi agent she's trying to help sam and tara figure out who the real killer or killers are now i will say i think this movie the writing is stronger in this film than in scream 5 the acting seems a little bit better from some of the actresses, especially the, the main the actress who plays Samantha. I think in the first film, she was, the script was really not very well written, and she didn't have a lot, whole lot to do, so I mean, there wasn't a whole lot that she could do. She does a better job in this film, so that's good. Even though Scream movies have always been kind of meta, this movie, as in the previous one, is a little bit too meta for me, especially from the character of Wendy. You know, she's the, the film guru supposed to know it all and everything with film and movies. There's a point in the film, she she sets things up it's like oh well we're not really in a sequel anymore we're in a franchise and she sets up the rules of this of franchise and it's so bs in some ways and in other ways too it's just like you just gave away who the killers were right there overall this film is better it is an improvement if you like the scream movies you will pro definitely probably like this movie if you like horror movies you'll probably like this that's scream six thank you for watching till next time that's a wrap